hated that video so much. It sucked so bad. Oh. What's up, Wobbly Boys? In today's video, we are going to be doing a Q&A about a certain topic regarding these two videos. Recently here on the Jelly Jess channel, I kind of dropped a big bombshell. I have actually been making content on this platform for over 12 years now. The 28th of February is actually my 11th year anniversary. Now, if you haven't seen those videos, I highly recommend watching those before this one. Today, I'm going to be answering your extra questions that you wanted to know about the whole situation. Let's get to it! What inspired you to pursue an animation channel rather than anything else? To be honest, I just really liked watching a bunch of animation channels back then and yeah, it kind of inspired me to make my own. On this channel, you can expect to find some story times and some other random vids along the way, all in form of animation. I always knew I wanted to do something sort of artsy or craft related because I have always been obsessed with those videos. Like if someone has to customize something, boom, I've clicked on that video already. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea for Dares with Dopey? Okay, Dares with Dopey was like my main series on my channel about this little hamster doing some dares. Basically, that was only meant to be like a filler series, but it stayed. It stayed for a couple seasons. <laughs> Looking back now, a lot of the things are so weird and stupid and just so dopey. Oh, darling. I don't know. I mean, I haven't watched a series in a very long time, so I would probably cringe a lot if I go back on it. Something I did watch recently, though, were my two LPS McDonald's videos, and I filmed my reactions to post over on my second channel, Jelly Jess. <laughs> the video is out now, so be sure to go check that out. It was a fun one. What did you feel slash do when your first channel got 1k subs? Sorry, I didn't know if that said subscribers or subs. Man, when my first channel got 1k subs, honestly, I probably peed myself because that is such a milestone. And from what I remember, I think I did a contest because contests were like so big back then. Yeah, it was, I guess, kind of wholesome. I remember more of my 500 sub special compared to the 1k special. There were so many specials, okay? Don't even get me started on the specials. Will you ever return to the channel? I think that answer is kind of obvious. Um, moving on. Why did you not make a video telling your fans why you stopped? They would have supported your decision, so why? When I decided I didn't want to make LPS videos anymore, I honestly just didn't have the guts to confront my audience and be like, hey, I'm up and leaving this channel because for a long time I really wanted to juggle the two and you know make everyone happy but sometimes it's just not possible okay <laughs> who inspired you to start an LPS YouTube channel okay so there were a lot of creators I watched when I first started out when I was like 10 fantasy land films man I binged that Rapunzel series in one day LPS Hannah for sure, she is such an icon and she was my friend on LPS tube for a very long time. Of course, Sophie GTV. Sophie GTV was like the queen of LPS tube. Like everyone knows about her LPS popular series, even if you weren't part of the LPS community. That's how iconic it was. So this person has two questions. First one is, did anyone ever talk about your channel not knowing it was you? No, I never had that in my life and I am very fortunate about that. I don't think anyone in my friend circle or anything was on that side of YouTube. With the Jelly Jess channel, someone where I used to work kind of watched my videos and talked to me in real life and kind of got the idea of, I think this is the same person. Yeah, she was all cool about it. We're friends now, so literally the weirdest thing that's ever happened, honestly. And second, did anyone treat you differently when they saw either of your channels? No, all my friends and people have been very supportive and um, yeah, much, much love. Do you have 
have another secret account. I'm curious now. If there has to be a secret account, I will say I did make a craft channel back when I was like 12 and I didn't upload to it. So there goes that secret. <laughs> what happened to all the littlest pets you had? So those clips that you saw in part two of those videos, they are only from a few weeks ago. I still have the whole collection. All the pets, I mean. They have been packaged up since I quit and in the cupboard, not doing anything. I will say I did downsize on a lot of all the accessories and houses. Did you watch Sophie GTV? Of course I did. I used to binge watch LPS Popular numerous times. It was great. I loved it. It's very much like Mean Girls, if you haven't seen it. I really love the sayings. Oh my dog. <laughs> what the tail? <laughs> Classic. Did anyone try and stop your journey throughout your early days on YouTube? No, not really. My mum, of course, knew about this, you know, beginning. But I kind of ensured her that I'm not putting my face on the internet as a child. And I'm literally just going to be playing with toys. What I was doing off camera anyway. What do you think is your cringiest video? There are actually so many videos I hate with a passion. <laughs> Some of them are funnier than others. But there's absolute dog trash videos that I hate. And I will never watch again. One of them, when I was really not enjoying LPS Tube, when I tried to make a comeback, uh, I think that was the Lego Movie parody. Papa, help! I've got you, son. It sucked so bad. Even the Boss Baby parody, I hated that video so much. But Boss Baby was like such a big thing back then. I really felt like I needed to do a Boss Baby parody, but I was so uninspired by anything in the trailers to come up with anything. And the fact that I had to explain a joke from the trailer and add it into the parody just proves how bad that video was. Please don't go and watch it. If you never stopped and still had motivation, do you think anyone would recognize you? And would you still be hiding your identity, aka face? Well, the identity part, I, I mean, I'm still hiding my face, so I don't think that would have changed. People recognizing me? I don't, I really don't think anyone would. It kind of blows my mind that I have definitely, at least in my lifetime, have walked past someone that watches my content, but... I don't know and they don't know and that's just life at the moment. There was always an ongoing joke in my family that someone would recognize my LPS Pet World's hands. No, <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. What's your favorite video you've ever made on any of your channels? Okay, I will start off with Jelly Jess. I probably would say the marrying a stranger online as a nine-year-old. That video was really fun and for LPS, that's a hard question, honestly. I would have to say the two McDonald's skits that I mentioned before. They were fun to make and full of crazy characters. What was your favorite pet that you owned when you were younger? I don't know. Honestly, there's probably a good handful that I will say I really like that sort of pet. I am a big fan of the snakes, even though I'm terrified in real life. I also really liked the deer shapes. I'd probably say the snake. If you didn't decide to become a creator, what would you be doing? YouTube isn't the only thing I'm doing. I'm actually doing a couple other things outside of this. I don't know. It would be awesome to be a full-time creator if that's ever possible. But I'm doing multiple things at the moment. Got a crazy work schedule, but I'm loving it. But I'm dun dun dun. Did you ever do stop motion for those videos? I feel like I did, but I can't think of anything. If it was something, it was very short because I just didn't have the motivation or time to do that. But some people made like really big ones and they were crazy. What was it like to be a child in the content creating business alone? Okay, so when I was a younger child, I didn't really have much of an audience. I was literally just playing with toys and you know, if someone was watching it they were watching it. I remember the first time my first ever video got 100 views and that was mind-blowing. Like I didn't even think going into this that it was going to be a job. I just really liked, you know, LPS and I found a whole community online who also liked LPS and it kind of just worked out. 
If you could go back and tell your younger self something, what would it be? Stop stressing so much about people not supporting your decisions in changing content. I'm glad things have kind of worked out, but I don't know, I was really scared of what people thought about me or I didn't really express my opinions well on the internet back then. Or I made it out to be like happy and fun videos when I'm on the other side of the camera being like, when can this end? <laughs> Have you always enjoyed making art? If so, could you make a video showing your old art? Love your videos, by the way. Thank you. And second, I have actually been thinking of doing a video like this for a while. If you do want to see it, let me know in the comments below. How much of an influence did LBS have on your art style? Honestly, I have never thought about that, but if you're looking at my character, if you look at the eyes, I can kind of see LPS vibes there. Okay, do you still have your littlest pet shop toys and how are they doing if you know? How are they doing? I haven't asked them, but they've been stuck in a cupboard for years now since I quit. Um, kind of like Toy Story 3. How did it feel for you to get this off your chest after such a long time? I imagine it must feel pretty good. Oh, I tell you what. It feels amazing. I feel like there's a whole level of trust going on now. We can all talk about everything. LPS words aren't blocked in the comments. It's great. But to be real though, I have been loving it. Just having this whole connection again with you guys and people that have rediscovered me from their childhood. It's been great. It has been such a journey and you know what? I love every second of it. Did you join any cringe LPS fan sites? I remember seeing a lot of them from my cringy Amino days. I wasn't a part of any of those websites except for LPS Amino. Um, it kind of flopped after everyone started promoting it though. But it was good for maybe like a month. And I got to talk to a lot of people and see what everyone was up to. It was great. RIP LPS Amino. What was the hardest thing you dealt with during your YouTube career? Just kind of not having the passion for it anymore. I feel like that was the hardest thing I struggled with. I really just didn't want to disappoint anyone, but I was disappointing myself. <laughs> okay, next question. How was it like? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Which characters were the most fun to act out. Ooh, that's a good question. The crazy cat lady. She was always great. Honestly, Dopey's family. Dopey's family had a bit of everything and I will say those videos were also pretty fun to record as well. Just Dopey's mom. I really, really liked Dopey's mom. <laughs> family meaning! She was just so oblivious to everything going on. Did you get a YouTube play button for the Ops channel? The Black Ops LPS channel. Nah, she's in Vinny somewhere. It's on my shelf down there. You can't see it, but it is down there. Oh, hello. And since that was so long ago, it's actually like the old YouTube plaque. How many LPS do you have? And by the way, I love your vids. Thank you so much. I think before I quit, it was over 400, but I can't say a number. It's 400-ish. I'm behind you. <laughs> Looking back, what was your best video quality wise? I would probably say this was a movie split into two parts. It was called Terrible Things, which is very different for me because this was a very serious video topic, all of that, which I was never really known for on this channel because I was the comedy definitely gotta do that with that. I will say though there was always a series I was working on behind the scenes and my computer would wipe the actual clips and I would lose them so many times that I eventually just gave up but I had this whole series going on where it was about a ghost town and it was really spooky. Will you do more LPS stuff on Jelly Jess? I'm not too sure if there's anything and again, if you guys want to see this, maybe some reaction videos. Might not be here on the Jelly Jess channel. It could very well be on the second channel, Jelly Jess. Check that out if you haven't already. I'm probably gonna be in a lot of <laughs> cringe pain, but you know, if you want to see that, I guess the show goes on. <laughs> what was your least favorite LPS? Definitely this thing. This thing is ugly. Can you just make one more that's really stupid? 
honestly, that unboxing in part two, that was the end. That's the end. That's the last one. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. I hope I made Hasbro proud. How did you come up with your storylines for LPS? Some of them were like real life experiences or like childhood storylines I made up with the characters and all that. Some I actually did do lengthy scripts for. Most of it was made up on the spot. I am just gonna be honest. A lot of it was made up on the spot. How did your experience as an LPS tuber help you with your animation channel? Ooh, good question. I would probably say talking into a microphone. That definitely helped. I was still in that American fake accent though, but definitely I had that experience of talking into something. Do you regret anything you did? Absolutely not. I really don't think I would be on this platform if it wasn't for some plastic toys, which is really crazy when you think about it. It's quite a big jump from making LPS videos to animations. Was it an easy or hard switch? I would probably say easy in a sense that, you know, experience with a microphone and a hard switch. It was kind of hard trying to come up with a design. Like we all know Juicica. Will you ever come back to the community? Again, being honest, no, LPS isn't for me anymore, but it doesn't mean it's not for other people. There's many other creators still doing their thing on LPS tube. I have found my, my new thing here. You know, I'm just really thankful that people still watch my content and hopefully there's many more years to come. We're doing so. Well, Wobbly Boys, that was a journey and a half. Thank you so much for all the questions. I hope I answered them good. <laughs> no, but honestly, the amount of support and love you guys have all shown, it's amazing and I am forever grateful. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later, Wobbly Boys. Damn, she done.